Welcome back. So teaching kids how to handle their big and also sometimes tough emotions. That is the goal of this new children's book that you're looking at on your screen. And this morning I'm joined by the creators of Malaku's Gift, Jill Reed and Patricia Custer. Jill and Patricia, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having, Thanks for having us here. <laughs> so let's talk about this book. I was just going through this and I mean this is not just a children's book. There's breathing exercises in this for kids. Talk a little bit about how this whole concept came to be. Sure. Well, so I had the very good fortune to do some breath work um, sessions with Patricia in Costa Rica where we both live and it was really impactful to me and um, it's such an important tool and she approached me with this idea for a story to um, write a children's book together and that is how our partnership forged. I feel like especially after going through the pandemic and the stressful situations mm. that we all went through, I feel like especially as adults, a lot of us got familiar with meditation and breath work. Why was it so important to introduce this concept especially to kids? So um, we both thought, as you said, we are living in a different time, yeah. you know. The world has changed very much positive. We have so much more opportunities. We have more access to things. Mm -hmm. But there is the other side. We yeah. have so much more stress. We are feeling overwhelmed. Yeah. And it's kind of an opportunity to reconnect back to yourself. Mm -hmm. And the breath is the straightest tool to the moment right now. So there is no other thing that goes so fast because the breath is connected to the nervous system. So if you are breathing slowly, for example, you are automatically calming down. Uh -huh. If you are breathing fast, let's say you are nervous, yeah. you are feeling more nervous because you are breathing fast. So you can kind of play with the, with the breath. And that's why we wrote it, because we feel it's needed. And I also want to talk about, like we said, this, I mean, this is of course a kid's book, but there's more here. There are these little hearts at the bottom of the pages that show that that is a page with a breath exercise on it. That's really cool. And that's also something that, that you can teach your kids and do together as well. Absolutely. We hope that parents and caregivers and even educators mm -hmm. will be able to take these very practical um, examples and use them on a daily basis and teach their children how to use them on a daily basis because it is a practice. Mm -hmm. It's something that if you continue to work on and use, you have that tool always when you're confronted with big feelings, big emotions. Mm -hmm. Um, you have this tool that you can go to and it's so important. And I also was, we were talking about the book and the illustrations are beautiful, but you can see the, the characters going through uh, Carnival and uh, there was a little part, you know, you, uh, I saw the Eiffel Tower in there, you know, we're in Egypt as well. I mean, this is a really exciting story for the little ones. Absolutely. So Malik is a very curious monkey and that is something <laughs> that we hope all children will take away is that it's good to be curious. It's good to want to explore everything that's around you and be open to new things. But it's also good to be aware of yourself and your breath. Mm -hmm. And it's good to be able to accept our big feelings. We were talking about this in you know in the break as well. I feel like especially on a Monday morning when you're kind of getting back <laughs> to the you're really feel the moment you said that you. You feel yourself breathing quickly. I don't think enough of us, even as adults, focus mm -hmm. on our breath. No. Just you saying that, I started focusing on my breath and I already felt better. Yes. And that's something we can do every day. You can do it everywhere and every time. The most important is, is that you become aware of your breath. Mm -hmm. So there are kind of two things. Becoming aware of your breath is the first step. How do I breathe? Do I breathe into my chest, into my belly? Mm -hmm. Is my breath fast, slow? How is the rhythm? So you are paying attention to your, to your breath, you are the observer. And then we of course use the conscious breath. The conscious breath is here we change our breath mm -hmm. because we want to achieve a certain state. You want to feel calm, yes. you don't want to feel stressed out, <laughs> no. you know? Yeah. So you are exhaling long. Excellent. You are using your exhale to calm your nervous system. But let's say you don't have energy in the morning, uh -huh. You maybe don't want to calm yourself down. You need more energy. You hype up a little bit. So you yeah. want to put energy in your breath. So that's the breath who helps you to go through the day. It's, it's amazing and we have it all the time here. Yeah. And if you just imagine, we are breathing around 25,000 times a day. Wow. You and know? we're not taking advantage of that like we should. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the really great information for kids and adults as well. So the creators of Malaku's Gift, Joe Reed, Patricia Custer, thank you so much for being with us this morning.
Thank you. Thank and where you. can people find the book, by the way? So you can get the hardback on barnesandnoble.com, paperback on amazon.com, and we are available at malekusgift.com as well. Please visit the website. We have breathwork exercises there. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. And it's free. I mean, breath is free. So <laughs> there you go. It doesn't get any better than that.